Is anyone joined before, ma'am? Uh, somebody joined and left immediately. Okay, ma'am. I was starting the class. Okay, ma'am. Um, yesterday we looked at uh, knowledge representation uh, using extended semantic networks. Today we'll look at um, a knowledge representation using frames. These are the different techniques that we are uh, learning in order to determine how we can uh, represent the knowledge. Um, essentially, because uh, AI systems could uh, utilize it for the purpose of deductions, inferences, and uh, to derive new knowledge from the existing knowledge. Frames uh, is also a uh, type of knowledge representation method proposed by uh, Marvin Minsky in 1975. Frames are an extension to semantic net networks. Uh, each node of a semantic net is represented by a frame. Quickly, uh, let us see what is a semantic network and how do we represent the knowledge in semantic network. So that uh, idea can be, you know, framed in the mind. So the semantic networks have got nodes and links. Let us say, uh, if we have to say that this one, oh, this is extended. And this one, this is semantic network. In semantic network, we have got nodes. This is one node. And uh, this is another node. Living thing is a higher order node. Human is a descendant of a living thing node. And these two nodes are joined by a link. And this link is a, is a relationship link. Which says that human is a living thing. There is another... Uh, property that could also be attached to the uh, living thing through property link, which is a dashed line. This is a semantic net. We looked at uh, various examples and in extended semantic net, we looked at how we can um, use new type of uh, you know, uh, characteristics uh, or features. This is essentially same, similar to uh, semantic net with extra features. What is said here is a frame is uh, similar to a semantic net where each node of a semantic net is represented by a frame. Um, or we can say that frame is like an extension to semantic networks. And a frame is defined as a data structure that is used for representing a stereotyped situation. A data structure, uh, consider a stack. How do you represent a stack? You represent a stack by um, having uh, a, an array with uh, a variable that denotes top. And this top is incremented as items are pushed and top is decremented as items are popped. That is a kind of data structure. Likewise, this frame is also a um, collection of items in the form of a data structure that represent uh, 
एरियल वर्ल्ड एंटिटी ऑलराइट सो दो आइटम्स विच आर कलेक्शन ऑफ फ्रेम्स आर कॉल्ड एज एट्रीब्यूट और स्लॉट एंड देर एसोसिएटेड वैल्यूज से टॉप इन स्टार्ट द टॉप वैल्यू वुड बी लेटेस्ट एट फाइव और इट कुड बी टू लाइकवाइज टॉप इज एन एट्रीब्यूट एंड टू इज द वैल्यू this is an example of a frame the structure of a frame uh there are various attributes that collectively forms a frame apparently here you find a frame name which uh, identifies this frame slot filler uh that uh you know that describes uh, the object default value of uh, that object or an attribute or, or i can say frame or constraints on values with the slots of a frame is there any constraint on the value that is to be stored Uh, in the frame, for instance, uh, you cannot have top value to be um, represented in uh, negative form. Let us take an example. Suppose top is initialized to zero and it starts with one. Uh, no negative values are allowed. That is a sort of constraint. pointers to other frames if this frame is linked to any other frame uh, pointer to that frame is it a kind of or a subclass of another frame is it an instance um uh is uh, what is the instantiation procedure inheritance procedure default inference procedure are there any triggers defined all these parameters are stored in a frame these are the facet uh facets list of facets in a frame value means value of the slot default means default value of the slot, slot and may be redefined by lower classes range means the range of integer or enumerated value daemon means procedural attachments others there are some other type of information consider an example of hospital frame this is hospital frame where you have the slot names as f name country phone number address f name denotes frame name and facet value is this value what is the facet value facet name is value facet value is metro hospital this frame is uh, representing a metro hospital in country india this is the phone number this is the address all right uh, frames in a network of frames are connected using links and this links would have uh ako inst part of a k o this link connects two class frames one of which is a kind of other class the class child hospital is a kind of class hospital it is like a hierarchical structure uh, such kind of structure is uh, denoted by a k o uh, link inst link this link connects a particular instance frame to a class frame 
for instance as uh, for a student class john is the instance uh, the class name would be student and the instance would be john so the link between uh, these two kinds of frames will be inst part of a link connects two class frames uh, one of which is contained in the other class for example hospital is a class which contains another class which is a ward class ward hospital has ward both are classes one class contains another class to uh, depict such kind of uh, relationship part of uh, link is used frame descriptions these are the descriptions uh, of the frame uh, frame name country phone number address director labs wards doctors these are the attributes for the frame name hospital and this one is the root of the network child hospital frame if there is any child hospital you know perhaps connected to it uh, that the name of that frame ako means it 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 gives the super subclass relationship what is super that is hospital what is sub is child hospital and age is 0 to 12 heart hospital frame frame name is heart hospital ako the link is uh, connected to the so its super class which is hospital lab frame frame name is uh, lab it is a part of hospital and it is a pathological lab and there is an x ray oh, okay uh, here in lab you you have pathological lab and x ray lab and that connection between those line uh, those uh, classes of frames are shown here and later this pathology and x-ray are defined separately ward frame is part of hospital doctor frame is part of hospital pathology frame is a part, a part of lab x-ray frame is a part of lab orthopedic orthopedic ward is a subclass of ward and this uh, frame instance descriptions if there is an instance of hospital frame these are the values all right the actual concrete values and these are the uh, actual values for the lab frame this is for pathology frame you know it's like a student name s name is equal to john like this initializing value uh, this frame name is pathology lab name and it is instance of pathology frame all that shows the same thing and now look at this frame a simple frame system in this frame system we have a root which is a hospital frame in this hospital frame uh, there is an instance uh, of this hospital which is aims aims is a instance of hospital child hospital is shows that child hospital is a subclass of hospital ako and lab doctor ward these are the part of hospital heart hospital is um, a subclass of 
हॉस्पिटल चाइल्ड हॉस्पिटल कलावती हॉस्पिटल इज ए इंस्टेंस ऑफ चाइल्ड हॉस्पिटल एस्कॉर्ट्स इज एन इंस्टेंस ऑफ हार्ट हॉस्पिटल इन लैब दे यू देर आर टू सब क्लासेस फॉर लैब पैथोलॉजी एंड एक्सरे देन द रिलेशनशिप इज ए के ओ और टू डिपिक्ट द सब क्लास रिलेशनशिप डॉक्टर देर इज नो सब क्लास वार्ड देर इज ए सब क्लास विच इज ऑर्थोपेडिक वार्ड एंड ए के ओ डिनोट सच रिलेशनशिप Uh, here uh, the three dimensional view of the frame structure is shown you um, look at this this is a 3d structure hospital doctors lab ward this could be on on one dimension on another dimension it we find the instance of hospital which is aims which has got everything labs wards pathological labs x ray labs and there is also a, a doctor called john the here this side there are, there is child hospital heart hospital which are the ins, um part of hospital that is shown here in another dimension uh, this solid line denote the part of link this uh, dashed line denote aqo link small dashes line denote instance link inheritance in frames what do you mean by inheritance in frames in frames uh, we know that um, we can have like a subclass superclass and subclass relationship wherein uh, a subclass obtain the knowledge or inherits the knowledge from the superclass that that the kind of uh, um concept is supported in the uh, frames through inheritance and uh, rules could be attached if required um that uh, in child hospital um, up to 12 years children are allowed to get admitted and treated this is like a rule which is nothing but the demands and how this frame is implemented uh, here implementation is shown in prolog uh, as this one is perhaps the older version uh, newer version would do, do have the implementations in python programming languages uh, you all don't know prolog but then uh, if you read it uh, it is quite clear it, it, through the through the command it's not command through the name frame a frame is created through the name frame uh, uh, this hospital is created child hospital is created a heart hospital is created with all its attributes and then through this frame all these whatever uh, shown earlier are created through frames frame uh, concept and inheritance is uh, shown here as find x comma y implies frame x comma z search y comma z and we know here that uh, because we are using here frame x instance of z find y z uh, frame x a k o z through the through these um, set of lines uh, we are uh, coding the inheritance 
with this with this chapter is completed in tomorrow's class we will start this expert system and applications chapter okay, okay ma'am bye bye ma'am have a good day